Hello and welcome back everyone, my name is Seth, and today I'm bringing you guys part 5 of how to make a Discord bot. In this episode, we're going to be working on the pay command, which will allow users to transfer currency between each other. On one of my previous videos, someone left a comment telling me that they're getting duplicate messages from the bot when using commands. I figured out that the reason for this is that every time we X out of our terminal, we're creating double instances of our bot. So to fix this, I need to show you how to do two things. We need to prevent this from happening in the future, as well as fixing the current problem. To prevent this from happening in the future, we need to remember to make our bot go offline before closing out of the terminal. We can do this by going in the terminal and pressing Control C. As soon as you see this new line pop up, that means your bot's offline and then you can press the X and close out of the terminal. Failing to do that and then opening the terminal and creating a new instance of your bot just makes it send duplicate messages. So that's how we can prevent it from happening in the future, but now we need to fix our current problem of it sending duplicate messages. We can do this by simply resetting our bot token. Once you've reset your bot token and copied it, we can head on over to our bot config, erase your old token, and enter in your new one. Then when we go to open our terminal and run our bot, we should no longer have duplicate messages. Now back to the main part of this video, let's go ahead and kill our bot so we don't create any duplicates. We can then close out of this terminal for now. Head on over to commands, create a new file, and name it pay.js. Next, let's save us a little bit of time by going to ping and copying its contents, transferring it over to pay.js, and changing the name and deleting these two lines. First up, we're only going to need one file and one package, so let's go ahead and add those. Now, to begin, we need to be able to get a user. So to do that, we're going to either want to grab them by an ID or by mentioning. So this first line defines user as needing a mention or an ID. The second line then determines whether or not the command you entered has a user. This next line will check to make sure you entered an amount of currency to pay. Now let's go ahead and make sure that you actually have some money to send them. And these next two lines of code will check to see if you have enough money to pay the specified amount, as well as make sure you aren't trying to pay them a negative number.
I apologize for my terrible typing skills, but moving on to the next part, if it got this far through the code, that basically means that there were no issues and we're going to pay them the amount that we specified. To do that, we need to check whether or not they have a money account already or not. So let's go ahead and do that. So this first part of the if statement says that they do not have a money account. So first off, we need to create it. We can go ahead and give them the amount that we're paying them right away before we even save the account. And then we can also go ahead and remove the money from your account. This else statement means that they do have a money account. So we literally just need two lines like this one that is for author and then one that is for user except for the user we want to increase their money and then the author we want to decrease their money and then of course we need to save that as well and lastly we just need to write a message telling them that they got paid And that's all there is to it. So we can go ahead and run our bot. And then check to make sure our new command works. Anyways, that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you smash that thumbs up button down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll catch you in the next video.